So let's talk about resistance. My experience of resistance in the past, at least, was that when I felt resistance, I took it as a sign to stop, to stop whatever I was doing, that it wasn't safe to move forward in whatever was happening. And to some extent, I think there could be truth in that. You know, our intuition might be working through us, communicating to us through resistance, saying, I don't feel safe to move forward with this, whether this is a relationship, an action, a job, whatever it may be. As I have been on this journey and have evolved, you know, emotionally in some ways, I now see resistance less of a stop sign and more of like a yield, a yield sign. We're going with the traffic metaphors here. Um, But when I say that, I mean, it's an opportunity to look at what is the resistance saying, right? Like what is it trying to communicate to me? Maybe it is stop. Maybe it is saying to me that whatever this thing is that I'm considering or that's showing up in my life, um, it's a full stop. It's not something that I want to move forward with. However, is there something else that's being called forth? Is there something else that's trying to be communicated through this feeling of resistance? So resistance is not just thoughts. It's not just, oh, I don't want to do this. I don't feel like I can do this. That's That all happens, but resistance is an energy. It's something that is happening in our body. And to me, usually it's it's um, a stuck energy. It's an energy that has not been released. And whatever the situation is that's coming forth is presenting an opportunity to at least acknowledge it and release it. Now, once you release it, the action that has to take place after is up to you. And it might be that you don't want to move forward in whatever you're doing. Or it might be that you want to do something differently. Maybe you need to create a new boundary with someone. Maybe you're releasing a limiting belief. Whatever it is, resistance is an opportunity to heal. It's an opportunity to reflect and it's an opportunity to ultimately release. So that's what today's tapping is going to be on. Um, So just take a moment now, (sighs) tune into your body and think of a situation or something in your life that you are feeling resistance towards. So for me, when I'm experiencing resistance, I feel a tightness in my chest. Um, and it's literally like I feel heavy. I feel heavy in my body. So just take a minute now and see what is happening to your body and to your energy when you think about whatever situation that you are resisting right now. And go ahead and give that, um, that feeling a rating on a scale of one to 10. So, or zero to 10. So zero being, I don't feel anything. I don't feel any resistance. And 10 being like, this is through the roof. I feel like I am completely stuck. And just tune into that and maybe locate even where you're feeling it in your body. Notice any memories, um, any emotions, additional emotions that might be showing up for you. And when you're ready, if your eyes are closed, you can go ahead and open them. And you can repeat either out loud or in your head. And again, if what I'm saying, the words that I'm using don't land for you, they don't resonate for you, please just use your words. Tapping is always best when it feels specific to you, when it feels intuitive to you. And if my words work, that's great. You can say them as well. So go ahead and start tapping on the side of the hand and repeat after me in your mind or in your mind or out loud using your words or mine. Even though I'm feeling all this resistance in my body, I acknowledge how I feel and I'm willing to release some of this today and keep tapping on the side of the hand. Even though I'm feeling all of this resistance, I don't want to move forward and I'm a little afraid to release some of this resistance because I don't know what it's going to make me do afterwards. I love and accept myself completely exactly as I am. And last time tapping on the side of the hand, even though I'm feeling all this resistance, I'm feeling stuck. I'm feeling like I don't want to move forward. Like I don't want to have to do the thing that is showing up in my life. And I'm just feeling really heavy. I acknowledge myself, I acknowledge my experience and all of my emotions, and I love and accept myself 
exactly as I am and exactly as my experience is. And go ahead and tap on that eyebrow point. All of this resistance in my body and go ahead and just tune back into that resistance. Where are you feeling it? What's the intensity? Moving to the side of the eye. And just say again, all this intense, all of this resistance in my body. Moving underneath the eye. It feels so heavy. Moving underneath the nose. It makes me not want to move forward. Chin. I just feel really stuck. Collarbone. I don't want to do it. Whatever this thing is that's showing up for you, just say, I don't want to do it. Give a voice to it. Moving underneath the arm. All this resistance in my body. And moving to the top of the head. I'm willing to give it a voice. Eyebrow point. I'm giving it a voice so I can release it from my body. Moving to the side of the eye. And I'm choosing to get curious what this resistance might be telling me. Underneath the eye. Instead of resisting my resistance, I choose to become more curious about it. Moving underneath the nose. What is this resistance telling me? Chin. Am I coming across a limiting belief that I don't believe I can do whatever this thing is? Collarbone. Am I afraid? Underneath the arm. What would happen if I released this resistance? What would happen if I moved forward with this thing? Eyebrow point. Do I feel safe to move forward? Side of the eye. I choose to see this resistance as a gift. Underneath the eye. A gift to understand myself and my experience. Underneath nose. And choose to see it as a portal for my healing. Chin. What is ready to believe to be released? Collarbone. Just take a deep breath here and feel into any residual resistance that you might be feeling. Bring to mind that situation, the person, whatever it is that you're feeling resistance towards. Just bring it to the top of the mind. Tapping, moving underneath the arm. I choose to release some of this resistance. Top of head, I choose to have compassion for myself as I release this resistance and give a voice to it. Eyebrow point, because the more I can clear this resistance side of eye, the more clarity that I can have. Underneath the eye, the more clarity I can have about how I want to move forward. Underneath the nose, and with more clarity, I can have more courage and confidence. Chin, so my resistance is really a gift and nothing to be afraid of. Collarbone, and I lovingly release this resistance underneath arm so I can move forward. Top of head in all the ways that I want and need to. Go ahead and stop breathing. I'm stop breathing. Go ahead and stop tapping. <laughs> Take a deep breath in and release. And just tune back into your body. Notice if there was any shifts, any changes. Notice if that situation that you were feeling resistance towards, if it has shifted, um, if you're experiencing any more clarity around it, and you, of course, are welcome to continue tapping, whether you want to repeat this or just tap through anything that showed up in the last couple of minutes. So thank you so much. Keep releasing that resistance so you can go and do the things that you need to do.